You are special. You are unique, just like everyone else. You are my friend. Insert name here. When I look at you, I see a beautiful person, despite the fact I'm looking in a video camera. I recently received this letter from 64-year-old Lamar in Minnesota. Well, hello, Chris. I'm writing to you because everything you do is such an inspiration. I used to have dreams of being a writer and a performer like you, but I guess I gave it up when I had my children and my wife forced me to stop. I can't say my family turned out too good. Maybe it's time to follow my dream and start my own internet show. Do you have any advice? Well, thank you for your letter, Lamar. Don't let the fact that you're gonna fail deter you. What's important is that you put all reason aside and devote yourself to chasing the approval of others. All that matters is that you try and try until you're dead, and then you won't know that you're a failure, cause you're dead. Now let's look at a kitten playing guitar. Well, it's happening. Hundreds and hundreds of people are coming from all across the continent to see me perform Cute with Chris live in Toronto. I have a lot of work to do. Purchase plane ticket to Toronto. Build enormous disco ball that descends from the ceiling with me inside. Construct 40-foot robot puppy that shoots fire from its anus. Practice breakdance duet with surprise guest performer Timbaland. Cancel that, I just ruined the surprise. I recently received this letter from 16-year-old Yana in Toronto. Chris, 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 I have tickets to your live show. I'm gonna die with excitement. Can you please put pictures of my dog Dubby in your live show? I would die if you made lasers come out of his eyes during your show. Ah. Uh... Yes, Yana, every time I do a live show, once, I show pictures of pets belonging to people in the audience. They get very excited when they see their fluffy companion on the big screen and then subsequently lose their mind when I make lasers shoot out of their pet's eyes. <coughs> However, I already posted a picture of your dog, Dubby, on cutewithchris.com. And I did this despite the fact you hounded me for months, sending me close to 31 emails begging me to show your dog, Dubby. I don't want to show your dog, Dubby, in my live show, Yana. Unfortunately, hardly anyone else with tickets to my show has sent me pictures of their pets to laserfy. I am the most highly respected pet laser technician working on the internet today. Why haven't you people who are coming to the show sent me pictures of your pets? Don't make me use Dubby. Well, last time on Cute with Chris, I asked you to vote on who is cuter. Satsuma the weightlifter dog, Uchi the hamster, or Gordon and his moves. The 4.39 million votes have been tabulated and the winners are hamster and weightlifter dog. Sorry, Gordon, I'm as shocked as anyone, but your moves prompted this letter from 14-year-old Chang in Kentucky. Chris, what are moves? I'm confused and scared. Thank you for your letter, Chang. Moobs are the... Moobs are when a man has... Never mind. And now it's time for another edition of... What, what You Sick you People Sick Come Here For. Today on What You Sick People Come Here For, we present shirtless Nick and his rats that chew on his nipple rings. Oh, sorry. That's not what you sick people come here for. You sick people come here for this. I love Jesus. Lincoln the Praying Cat. Lincoln the Praying Cat, sent by Kristen. I'm somewhere. You people are sick. No! Shoot down. Well, it's that time of the show where we destroy dreams by voting on cuteness. If you're coming to my show in Toronto and want me to make your dreams come true by showing your pet with lasers coming out of its eyes, be sure and let me know what night you're coming. Except you, Yana. I already got your email. Who is cuter? This kitten playing a guitar. Lincoln the Praying Cat. I love Jesus or shirtless Nick with rats on his chest. Thank you so much for sending me those pictures, Nick. <laughs> Cast your vote by clicking on the link at cutewithchris.com and we'll see you next time on Cute with Chris. Ah. Uh... Insert name here.